and uh, I rise to speak today to talk about the economic catastrophe that's folding here, un, here in Australia. And just in reply to Senator Polly's comments, if she thinks the Australian people is going to forget the pain that the Prime Minister Albanese has inflicted upon the Australian people because of this unnecessary immigration rate of over half a million people a year, over half a million people a year, you are kidding yourself. You are driving hard-working Australians into poverty, and you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. The Australian Labor Party is kicking the worker in their guts, and that is not good enough. You know, and I'd like to describe it as a clown show. You know, watching uh, the Prime Minister carry on, it reminds me of Frank Drebin in The Naked Gun, the way you know, there's that famous meme where everything's exploding in the background and there's the Prime Minister going, nothing to see here, nothing to see here. Look, we'll give you a little bit of an electricity rebate, but here's the thing. It's coming out of, the other side, out of your other pocket through higher taxes. Oh, we're going to give you a little bit of a subsidy here, but guess what? It comes out of your other pack pocket in the form of higher taxes. And of course, that is the uh, game that Labor plays. They play a game of charades where they're constantly moving the cups around on the table, but there's nothing inside them. They have nothing but hot air. No, no, the Labor Party is really more like the Colosseum. And Anthony Albanese, like an old Roman emperor, is putting his thumb down as the Christians were thrown to the lions. The Australian working families are being thrown to the mercy of international markets because the Labor Party will not protect its people. Will not protect the people. And that is a word I like to use, and I use it on my own, this side of the bench as well. I call myself a protectionist. We were the original party of the Liberal Party before the free traders came in, and I like to remind my own side of the party that from time to time. We are here to protect the working class people. The working class people, and I'll note uh, Senator Birmingham there is having a bit of a chuckle. But go and read uh, Robert Menzies' Forgotten People speech in the last paragraph. He sh says, We should not go back to the old and selfish notions of laissez faire. There's only two types of outcomes in a market in this world you're either making money or you're losing money. And our role as representatives of the Australian people is to make sure the Australian people put bread on the table. They have to make a living. And that is why we will stand here today and we will push back against higher energy prices. We will push back against higher interest rates. We will push back against higher rents. And while the Labor Party loves to go, well, we're entirely independent from the RBA, there's nothing we can do about it, that I call out to be complete misinformation. Because at the end of the day, there is something you can do about it, and that is lower immigration. And if you want to have an easy way to do it, by all means bring in. You know, we had immigration after World War II. We had immigration after World War I. We've always had immigration. But the difference is this time is that half the population coming in are going to university and wasting time on getting a degree instead of getting out there and doing things like after World War I, where they built Lake Ilden and Lake Hume, after World War II, where they built the Snowy Hydro project. They're not doing that. We are not building infrastructure. We are not building infrastructure. And that is the problem with the Labor Party of today. They have abandoned the working class. And we can see that because for the first 18 months of their government, all they ever did was talk about the voice. That wasn't going to make a difference to any Aboriginals out there in the regional communities, and it wasn't going to make a difference to hard-working Australians. And believe you me, the hard-working Australians voted unanimously to push back against ideological virtue signalling what they want are real solutions and real outcomes in this country. And the Labor Party do not have any solutions. And what did we see last week was the Prime Minister, Prime Minister jetting off to Tuvalu, a country whose coral reefs are growing, who co whose coral reefs are growing so much for climate change, and I should note last week as well, uh, and the news came out that the Great Barrier Reef in my home state of Queensland is also growing to record highs. No, no, what uh, Prime Minister Albanese is doing is bringing in and, and issuing visas to the people of Tuvalu on an unrestricted basis and just adding to the problem that we have here in Australia, we are not solving the cost of living.
Authorised G Rennick, LMP Chermside.